In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection TIE Fighter Pilot reissue. <laughs> Hello Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Vintage Collection TIE Fighter Pilot that was recently reissued by Hasbro. Now, I wasn't going to open this figure, but I have changed my mind because essentially it is actually a different figure to this one. And I will explain all of that in a second. But essentially, this is the vintage collection figure. As you can see, it is a standard TIE Fighter pilot. This one actually came in the legacy collection packaging, like this packaging here. But it is exactly the same figure as that one there. Now let me just compare the card backs quickly for you just so we can see what's new. So this was the original one. As you can see, I've got the uh, limited edition Boba Fett offer sticker there. There he is in the bubble. This one's unpunched. This one is the Return of the Jedi card back. He did also come on the Revenge of the Jedi as well. He is VC65. And as you can see, this one here is new with the new back but we much prefer the older back there. And then you can see it tells you when the original TIE Fighter card was released and the figure was released, which is between 1982 and 1984 on that Return of the Jedi card back. It's a bit funny that they've done that actually because the first time this figure was released in 1982, which was obviously before Return of the Jedi, he came out on a Empire Strikes Back card. And this is kind of where they've kind of missed the opportunity to give us that card back with the Empire logo there instead of just reissuing the Return of the Jedi one, which is a bit of a disappointment. But anyway, that's the difference between the card backs. And now we're going to be looking at the difference between this figure and that figure when I open this one up. All right then, so here is the figure out of the packaging. Now, the reason I've opened this one is because when I was on Instagram, I noticed on Bantha Skull's page that they were comparing this one against the original Vintage Collection one. Now, I thought that they had just updated the paint scheme and the paint scheme is a lot, lot better than the original one. So if we look at the original one here, we've got some extra touches on here. We've got some little red dots on the paintwork there. It just seems to be a, a nicer paintwork all round. And this guy has the two emblems. Now on mine, I only have the one. And you'll also see the emblems on the shoulders are bigger as well on the new guy. Now, the reason this could be different is because essentially this guy here that's been packed into the vintage collection this time is actually a specific TIE fighter pilot called Lieutenant Oxio or Ozio. I really don't know how to pronounce that. It's got too many X's in it and I really don't know how it's pronounced, but that's what I'm going with anyway. And the reason for that is, is because he's got this silver bit on his head here, this silver stripe. So when I investigated this a little bit further, a friend of mine called Daniel, who's a fan of the channel called Daniel Chart, he actually said that this figure here, the one that they've repacked this time, is actually from the Endor Battle Pack or Endor Multi Pack. And it's the Lieutenant, whereas the original TIE Fighter pilot that was in the Vintage Collection was one that did not have the stripe on the helmet there. It is just a standard TIE Fighter pilot. So that was interesting. So I thought, well, I might as well open it up then if it's two different figures. Now this one does have a remo removable helmet. They do actually have the same head sculpt underneath. As we can see there, this one does have the photo reel. So it's a slightly better uh, paint job on the head there. The chest piece does remove, as you can see there. So that goes back in and obviously you've got the tubes there, which then go onto the helmet. Now, a lot of people were disappointed that they just didn't give us a brand new TIE Fighter pilot because this figure is a very old figure. It doesn't even have ankle joints, um, <laughs> no hinge whatsoever on the ankle, but it does have the rest of articulation, including your shoulders and your elbows. He has a swivel at the glove rather than on the wrist, a bit of waist movement. And of course, he only has these swivel thighs there or hips, but he does have ball jointed knees. So all in all, it's actually quite an old figure. I think it dates back to maybe even 2004, I want to say, possibly. Let me just get this one back on. So from what I originally thought, that they just updated the paint scheme and improved it, which they have, it is actually based on the Lieutenant. So because he's got that silver stripe on his head. 
So just to recap, the Vintage Collection one and the Legacy Collection one is this one. And in the Legacy Collection, you actually get the little blaster there, which you do not get in the Vintage Collection. You only get the bigger blaster here, which fits in this hand. I suppose it could fit in either hand, really, but he is missing the small blaster there. So you did get that in the Legacy Collection. You can actually see the standard TIE Fighter has got these little uh, silver flashes as well going up the front of the helmet there, which the Lieutenant doesn't have. But as I say, all in all, it's, uh, it is an improvement in terms of the paint, but it ended up being a completely different figure, really, because this one is like a Lieutenant, and this guy is a standard TIE Fighter pilot which was released in the Legacy Collection and the Vintage Collection. But the new Vintage Collection one is actually from the Endor Battle Pack or Endor Multipack, something like that, like a Battle of Endor pack. I will try and get an image of it on the screen for you. So there you go then, guys. That's uh, sort of a bit of a rundown of what they've done with this repack. Interesting that this one has only got the one emblem. And actually, I've just checked, but the original Vintage Collection one does have two emblems. So... The Legacy Collection one only has the one emblem. I don't know whether that's a mistake or not. Then we have the reissue one, which is the Lieutenant. And then we have the original Vintage Collection one, which does have the double emblem, but it doesn't have the stripe up the top of the helmet there, which is... That's all a bit confusing, isn't it, really? Lots of different TIE Fighter pilots. And I've even confused myself doing this video, but I hope you sort of understood what I was going on about there. But still, it's a TIE Fighter pilot, really, that needed updating. But uh, we, and in the end, we got a repack on the same Return of the Jedi card, which, I don't know, is not too good. All right, then, guys, that's it for this video. bit all over the place, this one, because of all the different TIE Fighter pilots that we do have now. But thank you very much for watching anyway, and we shall see you on the next one.